In negotiations, you must have a clear idea of what you want to get from the deal. But that, of course, is only half of it, because there's the other person involved too. And negotiations typically require persuading that other person to your way of thinking. So in this video, we're going to look at exactly how you can do that. I'm Simon Horton, and I've been teaching negotiation skills for 15 years. And in that time, one of the most common problems I've seen with people's negotiation strategies is that they just don't think about the other party as much as they should. They go into the meeting without spending a moment thinking how the other party views the situation and what they would like to get from it. So that's exactly what we're going to focus on right now. Three top tips. Firstly, take the time to think about what is happening in the other person's world. What's going on for them from a business perspective, a career perspective, their family, health, finance, hobbies, all of these. Think about everything you know about them. And if you don't know them, well, have a guess. Have a guess what might be going on for them. This is going to give you massive insight into how to work with them. It will tell you what their goals are. It will give you their values. Or it might just give you that little bit of information that's going to help you build rapport the next time you meet and set the conversation onto a good footing. Second tip. You want to know what their goals are, and just as with yourself, you want to focus on their bigger picture goals. This is where the leverage is. If you can help them achieve their bigger picture goals, they're going to help you achieve yours in return. So frame your desired outcome in terms of their goals, and you're much more likely to persuade them. Then lastly, you need to understand what is their plan B. In other words, where will they be left if you don't reach a deal? This tells you exactly how far you can push before you actually push them away. Conversely though, you clearly have to offer them something better than this because it needs to be worth their while. But if you do offer them something better than their, than their plan B, you should be in with a deal. If you take some time to think about the other person's perspective, it's going to help you so much in getting your outcome. And you can learn more about this if you click on the link below where you'll find more information. And don't forget to send in your questions. We really want to hear about what you want to find out about for your negotiations. My name is Simon Horton and I wish you the best of luck in all your negotiations. Music